Welcome to Exalt His Name Poetry. My name is D.N. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Psalms 34, 3. Father God, have your way. Father God, it's raining. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In Jesus' name, have your way. Father God, I come to you right now in the almighty name of Jesus. Father God, decrease me, increase you, Lord God. Have your way. Speak to your people. Lord God, and I pray that they receive everything that you are saying to them and pouring out to them because you love them. Touch their hearts. Touch their minds. Lord God, help us to be better because you are our joy. You are our joy. Help us to keep a smile on our face, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Deuteronomy says, My God is a jealous God, as he should be. He has every right to be. Those idols didn't make you, he did. That job you depend on more than him, remember, he provided it for you. That person you love more than him, you put them before him. He created you and them. Without him, you wouldn't have them. That house was given to you by him. That car was a blessing from him. He didn't give it to you for you to use that to replace him. Oh, he is a jealous God and has every right to be because he is the creator of all things. Thank you, Jesus, for only wanting me to worship the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the great I am. He never was, never will be. He is, always is, right now. All those things come and go and change and get old, but not my God. He is forever the great I am, the same, never, ever change. <laughs> he never changes. In Deuteronomy, he is who he is today. And always, always, because he is the true God, the eternal God that doesn't have a beginning or end. He just is my God. <laughs> And thank you, God, for being jealous. You have every right to be. The first commandment, don't put no other gods before me. I'm assigned and appointed for such a time as this. So I'm going to let my light shine. My father will get the glory from this. I'm a line in a straight line. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I'm in agreement with you. I don't want to go in a specified direction or manner changing positions without you. So I'm going to get in line and follow you. <laughs> I don't want to run away from what you tell me to do and be swallowed up in the belly of a whale crying out to you. I just want to do, but I can't do it without you. Holy Spirit, I need you. In the secret place, I tell you, Jesus, help me to always be sold out to you. I'm not bowing down to no golden statues or nobody that's trying to play you. I only bow down to you, J-E-S-U-S-C-H-R-I-S-T, and that's how it's always going to be. So I'm going to shine for you, Daddy. I'm going to shine for you, Abba, period. I'm going to shine for you. Matthew five fourteen through 16. You are the light for the whole world. A city built on top of a hill cannot be hidden. And no one lights a lamp and puts it under a clay pot. Instead, it is placed on a lampstand where it can give light to everyone in the house. Make your light shine so others will see the good you do and will praise your Father in heaven. Who are you shining for, Jesus or them? 
I'm going to shine for Jesus because them ain't got no hell or heaven to put me in. And by the way, I'm going into heaven and I pray I see you there, honey, (laughs) sister and brother. (laughs) I pray I see you there. Amen. Come on, y'all. We got to get there. We going to make it in Jesus name. I want to talk to you about sitting in God's presence. Some of you might not know what that looks like or what that is or how you do it. So I'm going to explain to you what that means. You know, when you pray and you have prayed, you have talked and, and asked God to do these things for you and Ask God to protect your family and guide you and lead you, whatever you have prayed about. And then you just jump up in Jesus' name, amen, and you just leave. No, don't leave. Sit there, and now you allow him to speak to you. You've done a lot of talking, now let him talk. Stay there. Invite the Holy Spirit to come. He lives in you. The Holy Spirit wants to talk to you. The Holy Spirit is a person. No, you're not going to hear an audible voice. You're not going to hear him like how you hear me. Or when you're sitting up talking to one of your friends or something. No, God talks when 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 he speaks it it comes through your thoughts and and through other things that he speaks to you through like he speaks to me through numbers colors a lot of different things and i know it's him because in the secret place in his presence he has confirmed that to me okay so it it takes time you you build and you grow with god he knows this so if you're a beginner he knows that he loves you and he will walk you through i've been there too so don't think that i'm better than you i'm not better than you not at all god wants you to grow but he wants you to want to grow and i want it to grow so he helped me grow into hearing his voice and knowing his voice from my voice and the devil's voice okay because the enemy talks too and normally his when he talk he much more louder and it ain't right and it don't line up with the word of god okay so just sit in his presence and invite the holy spirit to come and God will show up for you. He will because he loves you. And the Holy Spirit, you'll know when he's in your presence. Because he's a person. He's not there to scare you. He's there to comfort you and help you and guide you. Because that's his job. To comfort us. To help us. To guide us. Holy Spirit, he eavesdropped. Oh, God and Jesus talking about you and he coming back telling you what they saying about you and about your life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you'll know who God created you to be. God set it up like that. God gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a gift to help us do this life because God knows we can't do this life without him. Ain't no way possible. Okay? Not when you're trying to do it. God's way okay so sit in his presence and let him speak to you have faith want it and trust that he will do it because he will if he did it for me he can do it for you okay and the Holy Spirit is the same spirit that woke Jesus up from the dead. 
Jesus loves us. He went to the cross and he died for us, but he got up. That same Holy Spirit that you are inviting to come into, um, you, you want to go come into his presence? That's the same Holy Spirit that woke Jesus up from the dead, and he lives inside of us too. All right? God loves you, and he wants you to know him. It's not his will for any of his children to perish. None of us. He don't want none of us to perish. None of us. Like I said before, God said this in his word. Hell was not created for us. It was created for the devil and his demons. Not for us. God loves you. Amen. Father God, I come to you right now in the almighty name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that you give everyone here that's listening a desire to want to know you more. To want to sit in your presence. To want to learn your voice. To want to learn about you. Lord God, touch their heart, pour love into them. Holy Spirit, touch them. Touch them. When they became saved, you live inside of them, Holy Spirit. Love on them. Guide them and comfort them. Oh, I know you able, God. <laughs> I know you able. Jesus, you did it for me. Do it for them. Do it for them. I'm asking you right now to do it for them. You said if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And Lord God, I know that that's your will for all your children to know you. So I know you hear me. And I know you will answer my prayer. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I love y'all. Jesus loves y'all more. Alright. Get in get in his get in his presence. Y'all, we're living in the last days. Don't let the devil deceive you. He only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Alright? That's in the Bible. I believe that's John 10.10, 10, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Don't, I wish I had my Bible with me. That is a darn shame. I ain't even got no Bible with me. You know what? I ain't never done this before. Y'all might hear a door open, but I'm about to go get my Bible. Wait one second, okay? Because I got to make sure I said that right. Yes, that's correct. And... I I wanna I wanna read that verse to y'all, John ten ten because this is Jesus talking, and he said, "The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill and to destroy. But I come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly." All right, God is good. He is so good. Jesus is for us and not against us, all right? Amen.